So this is a, a pair of uh, Crocs. This is the Midnight colorway of the uh, Echo Storms. And uh, I want to check out this colorway. And also, it's uh, a bit different. They come in a, a bag now, versus uh, the original ones that came in the box. Which is, this is probably more Crocs-like anyway. Usually that they, their stuff just comes in a bag. And this black colorway came out, I think a little bit afterwards than the sort of other pairs, other colors that came out, like the sand one I reviewed. I think it was a sand one anyway, or it was called Tundra. And this uh, black colorway is obviously more similar to, I suppose, what you normally tend to buy uh, in, in in this kind of sort of footwear. And what I think about the, this particular one, it looks a bit sort of, I suppose, more sleeker because it's black and it just looks a lot less sort of bulkier because of it being black, just mainly the colour. Therefore, it doesn't feel as bright and just feels a bit more sort of muted, but obviously it's the same shoe. And uh, what I uh, liked about these is when I was sort of wearing them, I was just basically walking around in them and they feel sort of quite sort of comfortable on foot and feel quite sort of nice. and. I felt actually this these ones feel more comfortable than the ones that I had previously and the styling of them as well is quite cool and just a bit different than the normal but uh, it's one of those ones where if you're looking for a shoe with sort of a little bit of ventilation as you can sort of see here because it's got this sort of echo type uh, sort of this structure going on and you get that sort of ventilation on on your feet and if you want something to wear sort of casually but also I suppose more in a sort of, you know, if you're in a work environment and on your feet all day, this is probably a good thing to have. They do look quite sort of bulky and uh, chunky on foot, I will say that. And this time around, I've tried to do like an on feet section as well, because I had a few people sort of say to me, um, put them on feet so you can see what they look like, uh, which I will be doing. And um, But overall, it's still a, a, you know, a cool shoe, but yeah, there's a sort of specific sort of need as to when you should sort of wear this and this one I went true to size on and it seems to work for me. So here's the details for the Crocs Echo Storm Midnight. Comes in a midnight black colorway. And this has a, a plush insole which is really sort of thick and that's providing most of the comfort. And it also has uh, rubber outsole uh, pods, uh, which is basically the parts of the sneaker where you've got uh, more for sort of you know traction and, and durability really and it's a slightly different sort of material and it's also using a uh, light rider uh, foam uh, on the exterior so it just means that it, it will be uh, again just a uh, very sort of easy to wear on foot and not heavy and it's made up of all synthetic materials and the price was 94.99 so I would say these Echo Storms are more on the sort of soft to medium side and trying them on again, you know, having a different pair to try on, I found them to be, uh, you know, more softer actually than before and it might just be me or it might just be that they've changed something within this particular sneaker uh, or footwear and uh, for, for me, I think it has a bit of give to it, so it's mainly coming from the insole itself, but uh, the insole, like I said earlier, is, is really thick and it does feel sort of quite sort of squishy, not to the point of, you know, like the modern day runners where they, they feel like, super soft, but it's, like I say, it's more sort of going towards medium side. And these also have sort of good arch support, so it's one of those things that Crocs are, are really good at. And uh, also the insole has like a textured uh, pattern on it to just give you that sort of massage feel on foot and also uh, allow for sort of grip within with inside of the insole and it's uh, there's no really wearing time with these even though it's uh, sort of made up of foam material it's one of those ones that it, it's it feels fine when you're sort of walking around I, I didn't have any issues you know or kind of pressure points really and I would say go to shoot size on these because in my opinion they they do fit slightly look big but I wouldn't say to go up a full size or to go down a full size because you end up um, you know on the inside it, it the foam material is quite sort of chunky so uh, I think true to size does work for these and in my opinion I think the grip on these is probably slightly slightly the letdown it's got sort of average grip really uh, I wouldn't be wearing them sort of too much in the in the wet wear though in my opinion so with the look and style I do like the futuristic design it's kind of quite funky and looks almost like a futuristic car in my opinion which is a weird one 
and it still just has that sort of chunky sneaker vibe and similar to like a foam runner really but this one has a more of a boxy look to it and i think you can wear these all seasons but just bearing in mind that it's one of those ones where i'd be a bit careful wearing it in like really harsh rain conditions and this one you can sort of rock casually and maybe depending on how you dress maybe even going towards the smart casual and so in my opinion you know i'd probably dress more casual with these but this particular you know, there's potential to dress these up as well if, especially if you find the right colorway and i like the fact that the laces and just sort of easy to sort of slip on so with the final thoughts i like the flexibility around the toe area it's quite sort of wide uh, base on the uh, foot uh, footwear itself you know so it makes it easier to sort of put on and put off and also like i say there's no sort of pressure points around your forefoot and I also like the fact that it's laceless and the comfort really is provided by the light ride uh, foam material and also the insole like I said earlier it's quite sort of chunky and uh, soft on foot with the cons I think the uh, with this one the packaging it just comes in like a, a plastic bag and one of the early versions I'm sure that that one came with a box and also the uh, grip I'm not a big fan of the grip on this one I'm not sure how long that will last it feels fine but at the same time, it, it doesn't give me 100% like, confidence that I'll be okay, like in wet weather. And the cost as well. So I think uh, with this one, it's at £95. It's more than a what a Yeezy foam runner would retail for by about £15. So in that respect, I, I would choose a foam runner over this. But if you don't have the option and you, know, you don't want to pay resale for foam runners or you don't like foam runners, then obviously this is a good next uh, runner's up price. And I think you have like the uh, material around the sort of ankle area, which is supposed to be more for sort of, you know, lockdown and keeping you in place. But I didn't find that material to be that wrapping, you know, that wrapping around where it's quite sort of that stretchy material. It almost feels like it's um, just providing, just, uh, just, just being there for, you know, just having that sort of cloth material on the, on the outside really. But it, it doesn't really, uh, like I say, lock your foot in, in any way. So especially if you have, you know smaller uh, calves or ankle ankles you're, you're going to find it a bit sort of tough to uh, keep them on foot i guess so with the ratings give the looking style for this one a four out of five i, I think they look cool and look different and uh, like i say they look quite sort of chunky and almost sort of boxy at the same time with sort of rectangular angles and uh, I, I still don't think they as nice as a, a uzi foam runner and the comfort I give it a four is kind of going on towards the end of like being very very comfortable on foot. But I think for me, uh, the Easy Foam Runner still sort of wins out uh, if you're looking for this type of sh you know shoe. Uh, so in my opinion, I still think you know it's a nice nice one. And it's, like I say, it's all sort of nuances of what you like in terms of your comfort. But if you're used to wearing Crocs, then you'll probably like be happier wearing these. And the quality I give that a four out of five. I think. Uh, with the price that you're paying, my only gripe is the ankle collar and also just the grip itself. I think if, if they improve those, then that means, you know, it, it would be sort of good to go. And at the end of the day, it's, it's a, a foam based shoe anyway, so you can't really do too much with that. Or you not having like leather materials, etc. And the pricing, I give that a four. I think it's like I said earlier, it's just priced slightly too high. I think if they lower the price to about £80, because it is a foam based shoe, and uh, I think then it would be be a more sort of comp compelling uh, option and overall i give that a four out of five i think like i say if you're a crocs fanatic and you like the way the crocs um shoe shoes work and footwear works and i would say you, you'll be happy with these and you know if you've worn the, any one of the sort of echo line then you'll probably add this to your arsenal and anyone who's wearing a sort of standard classic uh, uh crocs clog uh, also would be happy wearing these so it just depends on what you like and you know if you're used to wearing Yeezy foam runners you might not like these uh, as an example